This is another channel showing already the area. This is what they try to record. They have problems recording. Unfortunately, the image is not very good with this light. And this was not the only first time. You're going to see in a few minutes another journalist from Chile. Uh, he created a very nice environment to be able to film the interview and everything. The whole crew, they were there only to film the whole thing. When they all, the object show up, they run. <laughs> they left the whole equipment. <laughs> because the object came too close. <laughs> and you're going to see the guy interviewing other members of our groups all over the world, showing the newspapers about the UFO already being seen over there. This is also the journalist that encountered. This is the program Carta Blanca, Chile. The journalist Albert Diver, famous, Megavision, Chile. He arranged already all this scenario, beautiful, blah, 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 to do the interview, film already the object, blah, blah, blah. And when the object came, everybody ran. And that just shows you it's the fear from the humans. It's not, it's not our star no, no. brothers. How? It's the our shadow inside. Yeah. It's our shadow. The fears we're carrying. You're totally right. This is Rodrigo from our groups of children. He was telling already from a physical <coughs> encounter they got what happened was the introduction for the interview and the object. A few minutes from now, you're going to see him speaking with another member of our groups, telling him his fear, what happened when they saw the object here. He is telling exactly what happened. Okay. Saw the sky, they run. He's having already the newspaper saying about the signing, the observation of the Lester away. Evidence about our experiences in our context, they are alive. Which is my purpose here. Not only to make you be aware that our days are already how you can say they're ending. We don't have too much time. There's not going to be bombs exploding. Probably, yeah, we're going to have something like that. But check it out around. Check it out the world we're living in. Check it out what's happening. The destruction, the chaos, the fear. What kind of hope do we have right now in regards to the future? How is it going to be the future? Not only for us, but for the next generations. Right? A long time ago, I was a teenager, and I had the chance to meet this guy for the first time. And they told us they were looking for the possibility to give to our world hope for a better future. But they were not willing to give without being prepared for that. So what means that? The world, the way it is, is because we are making it that way. Be that way. The world is this way because we are, in some way, partners in this kind of situation. We have beliefs, right? In the name of God, we're killing each other. It doesn't matter if you're Muslim, Catholic, Protestant, Evangelic. It doesn't matter what kind of religion that you have. In the name of God, we're killing each other. We can talk about philosophies, right? We can talk about many, many things. It even in that way became what we can say in this case a product. Follow me and towards me you're going to be able to follow the right path and this is salvation. Please, we are a civilization that we worship death. 
don't worry, my son. The suffering you're having right now in your life is going to be purification. When you will be in afterlife, this is going to be paradise. You're going to have everything what you deserve. Oh, not my child, this is your karma. Don't worry, the next life is going to be better than this one. <coughs> so everything we're living to the next one, right? This one is suffering. That's it. We came here to this planet to suffer. And that's it. Suffering, if you are suffering right now, oh, you're blessed. Because this is the way you're going to clean your soul. You're going, you're going to be ready to go to the next one. So in the next one, everything is going to happen, but not this one. Forget it, this one. So this one is going to be pain, suffering, problems, difficulties. And this is part of it, because love, God loves you. So God loves you. You need to suffer. Because this is the way God is going to help you to purificate. So this is the way we think. This is the way we can concept life. So life is not a synonym of love, caring, happiness, friendship. No, it's death. We're here exactly to have pain. Wrong. Wrong. Because this is an excuse. We built already an excuse for our mistakes. So as we are not able to handle anymore the kind of life we're having. We need to find an excuse to justify all the suffering we're carrying right now. All the the fears we're carrying inside of ourselves. Upstairs, there's a beautiful civilization, a lot of them. There's no fear, no pain, no suffering, no fame, no misery, nothing like that. They took them thousands, thousands of years of evolution to be able to reach them, but they made it. They made it. And they want to share them. They're willing to share them. They're willing to show the path, the possibilities to reach this kind of world, this kind of new life. But to be able to open our hearts, our souls, to this new way of thinking and living, or understanding, we need to open our consciousness, our understanding also. We need to change ourselves. We need to be prepared to give up all this garbage we're carrying inside of ourselves. What we have inside of ourselves is product of culture, fears, religion, beliefs, name it. There's a lot of stuff already here. Remember that beautiful story about the three blind mice coming, running in the middle, and they found a, an elephant, right? So one started to touch the leg. Say, oh my God, this animal is so big. It looked like a, a tree. The other started to take the tail. He said, no, you're totally wrong. This, is not, this animal is not big like a tree. Like a tree. <laughs> it's so small and full of hair. <laughs> and the other was taking another part of the animal, saying, no, you both are totally wrong. This animal is not that way. It's totally different. Who was right? Who was right? The tree, they were right. But they were in different places of the truth. They had already different visions of the truth. The truth was there. But the knowledge, the information, the possibilities are in different places. And the problem is, no, you're wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I don't trust you. I'm not going to take what do you have. Because what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, what I'm touching is the truth. Wrong. It's exciting to be in a huge building with 25 floors and as for the guy on top, what you're seeing? Oh, I'm seeing the river already over there. And you already, in the main floor, say, I'm not seeing any river. I have the other building in front of me. So you're lying. No, he's not lying. He's in a different position. He's in a different place. How many of us can have this kind of long vision and see him far away more than what others can have? And how open we are to be able to share this possibility and share this new way of thinking. This is that. This is our way. The possibility not open, not only open your eyes in regards to what in fact is happening, but open our world to the possibility to get in touch with that. <laughs>